Welcome back. And uh, the Dallas Cowboys go to London. That's right. And uh, even probably they probably didn't welcome that trip, but they will welcome <laughs> getting to see a one and eight team. Yeah, uh, probably a one and eight team. Mm-hmm. They, they need this kind of break, uh, especially because the the rest of the, the season, the rest of the schedule is actually going to be very cha- challenging. It's going to be quite daunting. Only two more home games. After. They only, only two have two games. more home games. So, so th- to me, this is and while it is just against the one and eight team, this is a must win game for Dallas. You don't want to go into the bye with third straight loss. You don't want to be six and four going into the bye, going into the final stretch of the season when you only have two more home games. Right. They they're going to need six and three i mean seven and three looks a lot better in six and four going into this bye week yeah and and if this would feel way up in the air if uh brandon whedon has to start yeah and right now the, the all signs point to tony romer being may, able to make the start the so. injury that he's had it's it's usually about a 10-day thing before a player feels comfortable with that injury of course you know bryce petty came back from it for baylor this year Bryce Petty also didn't have a cro- you know across the ocean. He's not 34 years old or <laughs> He's whatever. He's not 34, either. and he didn't jump across the pond yeah. on a on a plane, you know, for several yeah. hours beforehand. Too. As a guy with a bad back, <laughs> yeah. I I don't like flying. <laughs> right? <far>. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And and so we'll see how Tony responds this week. But all signs point to him playing, and that is the biggest key to beating yeah. the Jaguars. Yeah, that is the number one key that you circle. Now the the Jaguars. Uh, you know, in, in little spots. Their one win came over Cleveland, which yeah. is a five-win team. And uh, Denard Robinson has really given him a spark. He's averaging better than 100 yards a game since he took over as full-time starter three weeks ago. And so, and then I, the Bortles, when they kind of let him let it fly, they seem to make a few plays. It seems like a yeah. lot of the game they'll keep him under wraps. And, uh, they, they've got some receivers that can burn you deep. Alan Hearns has shown that he's capable of, of being that guy. Cecil Shorts is still a receiver on that team. That's and Robinson. The good news and for Robinson Dallas too, is yes. there's real no tight end threat. No, no tight end. He may become a threat <laughs> Sunday, but yeah. like, like well, Carlson did uh, yeah. for the Cardinals. Mercedes but. Lewis has been nicked up for them most of the year. Really stands out about Jacksonville. It, if it wasn't for an offense and a bad special teams even, that's constantly putting them in bad situations, the defense hasn't been terrible this year. Right. Their defense is actually a pretty solid unit. They have, you know, lost some key players along the way, but they've still managed to keep be a pretty considering how bad that team is. The rest of the team is. The defense performs pretty admirably. So, and one thing that's went under the radar for the Cowboys with all the other struggles, obviously, with the blitz pickup against Washington and then Whedon's play, is special teams has not been real good. They no. have lost special teams two weeks in a row. Yeah. And uh, this is a week they should win that battle. It, uh, Jaguars are real bad. Mm-hmm. Had two punts blocked on Sunday. And uh, they've been shaky at giving up returns, too. The the one area that Dallas' special teams had been infallible in was field goals. And even that one, they had a blocked field goal this past week. Not Dan Bailey's fault. Just didn't pick up the guy coming off the edge. Punting is terrible. Chris Jones has not been able to flip the field all year. And if there's an area. And that had been a strength, you know, through the McBriar era. Mm -hmm. And, it's, and it's become a weakness. I mean, if, if there's a guy that's replaceable on that team right now, it's Chris Jones. Brandon Whedon, Chris Jones. <laughs> <It's kind laughs> Maybe Whedon order. can punt. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, see if he can. <laughs> Contribute something. Well, I'm, I'm kind of looking at this. Romo plays. I, I'm looking 27-17, 31-17, somewhere in that neighborhood. Yeah, if, if Romo plays, I think they can even get to 38, like 38-14, something so, like that. If Whedon had to play, I think 21-20 would be something they'd be happy with, mm. just as long as they had one more. <laughs> as long as they won, I think they'd and be And that happy. wouldn't be a given. It no, would not, would not be not a given. So, Well, when we come back next week, we'll see how the Cowboys uh, you know, took advantage of this schedule opportunity.